If you want to engage people to tell your story, to inspire them to become a true brand advocate, whether you're talking about an employee or a customer, here's the first thing you've got to do. You've got to name your enemy. What are you against? When it comes to Tesla, they're against the fossil fuel you know, auto industry. The mission of Tesla is to enable sustainable mass transportation. And that has been the dialogue that has informed content and their product and their marketing ever since then. Airbnb, who knows what Airbnb's enemy is? Hotels, right? Hotels, they couldn't stand how the experience of travel was homogenized by going to a hotel when there's so much cultural richness to understand right there in front of you. That's their enemy. And when you can define your enemy, you can define what you're for. And when you know what you're for at a human, heart-led, empathetic level, you can create content that people will engage with instead of wondering how to optimize and optimize and get more and more transactional and wonder why you're getting less and less results. What fundamental consumer benefit will you celebrate as a brand? You need to be able to answer that. You need to be able to say, we exist to do X. We exist to spread joy, to unlock opportunity, to celebrate innovation, whatever else it might be. You need to be able to articulate what that is so that every piece of your content in a simple, consistent, and scalable way speaks to that end. What conversation is your brand uniquely qualified to lead on the industry and even global stage? You can't write the humanity of your brand out of the equation. And if you do, you're, gonna, you're in a race to nowhere from a product feature or price point of view. The brands that will lead the future are those that celebrate humanity. And for all the reasons we know in this room, that has never been more important than now. So thank you very much. I hope it helps. <laughs>